Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with my beauty empties for the month of March 2019. Let's jump right in and get started. The first two things that I used up are two paper sheet masks. This is the Yes2 brand. I have one in Yes2 cucumbers and also one in Yes2 um, grapefruit. These two sheet masks are bubbling paper masks so when you put them on it feels just like a normal paper sheet mask but once you let it set it starts to like bubble and foam up so it's actually kind of interesting it's a very unique experience i'll say that so i mentioned in my last bath and body works empties video that i've never used a mask that i feel is just like life-changing but i think sheet masks are still fun nonetheless so while these were a little bit pricey i think they were like 350 and i got them at target i think that sheet masks are fun so if i find them um, on sale or for a cheaper price. I'm not gonna buy like a ton of them just because I don't feel like I really need to use them regularly But I would buy a couple just to have like the fun kind of self-care Experience of having a sheet mask. So overall I liked it, but not life-changing So it's not like I'm gonna buy these all the time The next thing I used up is a toothpaste. This is in Tom's of Maine and it is fluoride free natural anti-plaque and whitening and it's in the peppermint flavor. This to me tasted like peppermint floss. Um, so not so much like an actual toothpaste, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it just kind of tastes like that, like with the peppermint oil, I guess. Um, I thought that the taste was fine. However, I was not paying attention when I purchased this. I was not paying attention to the fact that it said fluoride free. I really don't get down with fluoride free. Like I want fluoride in my toothpaste. Um, so I think I will look elsewhere for a toothpaste brand and just pay more attention when I purchase one. So I didn't think this was bad per se, but I want to have fluoride in my toothpaste. So not bad. I would be interested if Tom's has a um, like a toothpaste with fluoride in it. Like I'd be okay with trying that, but I will not try the fluoride free kind again. The next item that I used up is a Physician's Formula Killer Curves Mascara. This is the mascara that tends to be my go-to now um, that I've switched over from Mary Kay. Um, I like the Killer Curves Mascara, I found lately that I feel like it kind of smudges throughout the day. Um, so I'm open-minded to other mascaras. So if you have a um, drugstore cruelty-free mascara that you especially like, I want to hear about it down below because I'm interested in trying others too. But in the meantime, again, Physicians Formula Killer Curves, this is a good mascara. It's just that sometimes I feel like it doesn't quite stay on throughout the day. So ultimately, I would repurchase, but like I said, I'm also open-minded right now to other brands and other mascaras. The next thing is actually not an empty, but it's a declutter. I've had this thing forever. This is a Clinique Chubby Stick Intense and Plushes Punch. Uh, yeah, Plushes Punch. I've had this since like right when I started my teaching career. So it's just like this pretty bright pink um, tinted lip balm, I guess. Like, it's really creamy and nice and comfortable. I'm one of those people who cannot stand having dry lips, and this was pretty nice. If I wanted color and moisture, these chubby sticks were pretty good. I wouldn't repurchase these for a couple reasons. Number one, Clinique is not cruelty-free, um, but number two, these, while they're easy to wear, smudge pretty easily because of their, like, texture, I guess. So, while those are two reasons I, what I would, why I would not repurchase, I also have decided, like, my tastes are just changing. I've just decided that I just don't like the look of pink lipstick on me. I'm more into reds and oranges. Um, so, while I love this for a long time, I am going to declutter because every single time I use this, I just don't feel confident in it anymore. And yeah, I feel like that's just kind of how it goes sometimes with our beauty. And this is just um, the time for this chubby stick to go. The next thing that I used up is this Vitafusion Multivite. So this is a multivitamin for women. Um, I purchased this because I had a coupon for it that was pretty good. I feel like if you're actually deficient in a vitamin or in something I guess this could be good um, but I actually wound up just using this up because I had it and didn't want to waste my money on it 
at that point because I talked to my mom who works in healthcare and I was like, yeah, I'm taking this new multivitamin and she's like, there's nothing wrong with that, but unless you're actually deficient, it's not going to do anything for you. So I felt fine taking this. Like I felt good that at least I was getting enough of the vitamins I was supposed to be getting from these. But like I said, this was not life changing. I do not feel different after taking these. The next thing that I am actually decluttering is this Schmitz deodorant. It is fragrance free. Now, I feel like when people say fragrance free about certain things, it still kind of has like a fragrance, but this is like honestly fragrance free. So if you want a cruelty free deodorant and you don't want fragrance, this is a good one. I always find these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, like those types of places in their beauty sections. However, I am getting rid of this because I have just found from time to time with Schmitz that like, I don't know what it is, but sometimes it just really irritates my underarms to the point where like, they just get really dry and my skin gets red. I don't know what the deal is, but I just can't have that anymore. So that's why for a while I really liked this, but it did happen a few times and I'm just kind of over it. So I've got to get rid of it and move on to a different brand. The next thing that I used up is a Clean and Clear Morning Burst facial cleanser. This is, I don't know, it's like the yellow one. It says it has caffeine, lemon, and papaya. This one is my favorite one. This is one I tend to get um, every single time that I see it, I guess, in store. I have talked about the fact that much like my deodorant, I've really struggled to find a cruelty-free facial cleanser that works for me. Um, so that's why um, there are a couple things like my cleanser that you'll find are not cruelty-free, but it just is what it is until I find one that actually works for me. So in the meantime, I like Clean and Clear. Um, these morning burst facial scrubs, or not scrubs, but facial cleansers are just what I use. So I would repurchase even though it's not cruelty free. And the very last thing that actually is an empty is my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. This is in the color natural. Something I liked about this is that it has the pump. I think the pump oftentimes would pump out a little bit too much, but I feel like once you kind of like get in control of that, then this is actually a really great product. So I actually wound up, whatever. I actually wound up buying this over Thanksgiving break in Phoenix because I just like ran out of my foundation that I was using. So this has lasted me, oh, like three and a half months ish. And I feel like it's a good buy for what I got. So I'm trying to, or I'm wanting to move in a direction where not only am I cruelty free with my makeup, but I also um, am going more natural with it, maybe fewer um, ingredients, you know, stuff like that. And I feel like um, Bare Minerals was a good place for me to start with that. So while I am tr uh, currently trying another foundation, I think eventually I could go back to this and be happy with it. So that is it for my beauty empties for the month of March 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.